There are many legends in the world, but the story of the killer penny is one of the most controversial. A New York legend says that a penny dropped from the Empire State Building can kill a person. However, the height of the New York building reaches only 1,250 feet, or 381 meters, and this is not the tallest skyscraper in the world. The king among the skyscrapers is the Burj Khalifa, a whopping 2,717 feet, that's 828 meters. What happens if a penny falls from such a magnificent height? Will it turn into a cruel killer, breaking the skull of an unfortunate passerby? Or like a Jedi sword, crush the sidewalk into small pieces? But before we figure this out, let's look at the legend of the Empire State Building. Is it a myth just to attract tourists or reality? Imagine walking along the streets of New York. You come to the foot of the Empire State Building to admire its greatness. Throwing back your head, trying to see the top of the building through the clouds. At the same time, there at the top, a tourist makes a wish and throws a penny down for good luck. Hurtling through the air, the penny accelerates and rushes to meet you. But how fast? What speed can a penny generate before it hits you? From school, we know that all bodies fall to the ground with the same acceleration, 9.8 meters per second. According to this, the speed of the murderous penny falling from the Empire State Building is almost 193 miles or 311 kilometers per hour. Although this is two and a half times less than the speed of a machine gun bullet, it's quite enough for a fatal collision with a person walking below. Catching a penny on your head can lead to anywhere from concussion to the worst consequences. But there is one nuance. According to such calculations, even raindrops should acquire a fatal speed of between 311 and 435 miles per hour. That's 500 to 700 kilometers per hour. But for some reason, we don't die from serious injuries after being hit by heavy rain. It's all about air resistance. The speed of the falling body increases until the resistance force is equal to gravity. And when this happens, the forces balance each other, after which any object, including a penny or a drop of water, stops picking up speed and moves downward evenly. This golden rule is better known as terminal velocity. But what if the force of air resistance disappears? In the absence of air, all bodies, regardless of mass, density, and shape, fall equally as quickly and potentially painfully. Physicist Brian Cox showed it clearly when he dropped feathers and a bowling ball in the largest vacuum chamber in the world. It turned out that in the absence of air resistance, Objects in different weight categories move to the nearest centimeter, keeping up with each other. In this case, the light feather is first attracted to the heavy bowling ball, after which the even more massive Earth attracts them as one piece. But now let's end the boring physics and go back to New York, where you're still standing at the foot of the Empire State Building gazing up. Imagine what happens if you put a whole skyscraper in the vacuum chamber and you along with it. In this case, it's better to get away from the skyscraper as soon as possible, because from a harmless object, the penny will turn into a dangerous hazard that can cause you serious damage. And so here is the news. It's possible that the falling penny could cripple you but it definitely won't kill because it's just too small in size. So it's possible that a judge would accept it as attempted murder rather than real murder. Under terrestrial conditions, thanks to air molecules, the speed of a 2.5 gram penny will decrease almost threefold, reaching about 64.4 miles or 100 kilometers per hour, and will remain at that speed until landing. 
But what kind of damage is a penny capable of doing at such a speed? And is it actually capable of causing injury at all? Mythbusters Adam and Jamie decided to check it out. They designed a mounted gun so that it could shoot pennies at the required speed of 64.4 miles or 100 kilometers per hour. A modified mounting holding a hunting rifle then fired at a cement block from a meter away. The distance the penny flew in about 30 meters per second, but on landing it bounced off the surface, leaving only a gentle impression. Accordingly, the experiment proved that a penny is not able to sink into the pavement. But what happens if you get a penny not in the sidewalk at your feet, but in you? To protect you and nearby passers-by, Adam and Jamie launched a penny into the head of a ballistic dummy, which is similar in structure to a human body. As a result of the shot, the penny broke through the thin layer of gel, but the skull wasn't hurt. However, you can artificially increase the speed of flight. How about when they fired the penny from a shotgun? Amazingly, the penny flew out of the barrel at a speed of 1,000 meters per second, which is almost three times faster than the speed of sound. The result of the shot? The penny left its clear imprint, but it still did not get stuck in the block. Even at supersonic speeds, a 2.5-gram penny does not have sufficient kinetic energy to break through cement or bones. But what was the difference between the penny and a 10-gram bullet of pure lead? Bullet pierced through the skull, literally shattering the head in half. A physicist from the University of Virginia, one Louis Bloomfield, explains that pennies are flat, so they experience a lot of air resistance and they are also light, so there's not much resistance to withstand their weight. Because the trajectory of the fall of the penny will more likely resemble a leaf in the wind rather than a potentially dangerous killer. If the air resistance slows down the speed of a penny several times, then the aerodynamic nature of the bullet compensates for this resistance, which allows it to maneuver in the air. Of course, when falling from a skyscraper, the final force of a bullet hit decreases, but it still remains many times more deadly than a penny. But let's give the legend of a dangerous penny another chance. If you run a penny from the height of the Burj Khalifa, will his speed increase and with it the danger? Dr. Hugh Hunt argues that the faster the penny falls, the greater the force of air resistance will be. The object has its own maximum speed, which cannot be increased. In addition, this is why raindrops do not constitute a threat to us. Since the acceleration is governed by the air resistance, their speed is a maximum of 20 miles or 32 kilometers per hour. Therefore, Regardless of whether you throw a penny from the spire of Cambridge University, a New York or Dubai skyscraper, the penny will definitely not cause significant damage to someone's head. Therefore, the story of the killer penny is declared pure slander, and the penny itself innocent. But do not rush to remove your protective headgear just yet. Beware of ballpoint pens. Believe it or not, this common, humble brio is what physicist Louis Bloomfield considers really dangerous. Thanks to the streamlined aerodynamic shape, the pen can reach about 200 miles or 322 kilometers per hour. It's not the fact that it can stick in somebody's skull, but the impact will be enough to send a person into the next world. The difference between a penny and a pen is only a few letters, but your life may depend on it. If you liked the video, give it your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so. Click on the bell to always receive notifications about new videos. Oh yeah, 
don't forget to tell your friends about us. It's more fun together.